How's it going, everybody? My name is JBliss34, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sun. Uh, today, we're going to take on the trial. We already got what we needed to get. We know what we need to do, and now we just get on a Stoutland so we can search around this place. But we got to look for four items, I believe it was. A tiny mushroom, which I apparently found. Which, uh, so which mushroom do you need? Tiny mushrooms. You put a tiny mushroom in your forge bag. A big mushroom attack? What? No. No. It won't attack. Whoa, oh, Parasect. I guess it was a big mushroom after all. He was mad that we took his little Paris. Alright, but we gotta get out of here. Well, actually, you know what? We might be able to take out this Parasect with Nova here. Can I get a uh, Fury Cutter? That's perfect. Actually, that does a lot of damage. Stop it. Don't, don't you dare do that again. Go for another rock tomb. Booyah. I should have to make sure that I have a Firium Z on Pitter Patter. Look at the Nova's level 24. Duke's level 22. Okay. So, and he wants to learn Power Up Punch. Sweet. Um, we'll get rid of uh, Pursuit. We'll get rid of Bubble Beam. Yeah, we'll get rid of bu 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 Bubble Beam. And we know Power Up Punch now. Okay, so, um, yeah, I gotta make sure that Pitter Patter is actually holding- uh, Don't you- Hey, it's me, Mallow. Oh, a tiny mushroom. That's great. There's a secret to why they're so popular with some people. You have to try one to find out what it is. Still, three ingredients left to get. We still need a whole big helping. Alright, so, bag. Fire Room Z is being held by no one. Yeah. So, now that we have that one, no one keeps watering him. Uh, move free space. Okay. Wait, 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 what? Uh, what's free space? Return to pocket. Okay. Uh, use this item. Keys for Nova. I can use it for. What would arrow? What does arrow know? It knows pluck, roost. Flame charge and brick break. So no, it's not good. It's compatible. We'll just give it to Nova. Oh wait, whoa! We be given to the Pokemon so that. Okay, so we can we okay. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so multiple Pokemon can hold the Z items. I did not know that. That is really, really helpful. Okay, but we have another Mon to care of. Uh, there is an item there. There's actually a TM. So, we're gonna actually switch Nova with uh, Pitter Patter. This Pitter Patter is gonna need to get a little bit more stronger. Since there's nothing but, uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, what's that? Are we gonna find item number two now? It is a Fomantis. Oh, that's a little cool, dude. A little kind of prey mantis. I'm guessing the evolved form is a full prey mantis. Alright, so we're gonna go. Let's see. I think it's L and A. That's 100. That's 120. Alright, let's go for the 120. Fire Fang, do your little dance, Power Ranger up! Especially with that outfit. That's definitely a Power Ranger right there. Pit of Power surrounded itself with the Z Power. Unleash the full force Z move. Infernal Drive! Overdrive. <laughs> Infernal Overdrive. Alright, Q. Q. And. Get out. My face. Hell. Alright. Arrow's level 23. Pitter Powder's almost level 25. Am I gonna get another item? There we go. We got a Mega Berry. Sweet. Hey, it's me, Mallow. Congrats on finding that Mega Berry. The bigger and more twisted the Mega Berry, the sweeter it will taste. Still, two more ingredients left to get. Just a little more to find. And we'll find them. Don't you worry your pretty little head. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I gotta go this way. And actually, 
I do want to get that item. So... Um... I can't go through that? Guess not. Maybe it's up here. Uh, oh yay! It has to be, right? Anything here? Oh, no, 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 no. But here it is. There, what is it? Grass knot. That's not bad. That's not bad. Can anybody learn grass knot? I'm pretty sure nobody would be able to learn grass knot, right? Yeah, nobody knows grass knot. Dang it. Alright. Oh, I still didn't check what wind pot evolves into. Let me go over here. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I need Stoutland. Oh, oh, oh. Over here? Is it this way? And. Okay, I guess it's not here. Oh, look! That is a. Uh, um. A place where you can evolve Eevee into Leafeon. Oh! It's right here. There you go. A hyper potion. That's not what I'm looking for. Come on, Statline. Get your head in the game. Okay. Seems this way is a good way. Um. Yeah, here we go. Yes. A revival herb. That's what we need. Sweet. All right. I had a Pokemon left out of the ground. Of course there was one there. Just waiting for me to get the thing. Another Fomantis. All right. So this is telling me if my... Um, Actually, no, it doesn't. It's not telling me anything. Uh, we're gonna go for a Fire Fang. Because this should one-shot still, even though it's not Infernal Overdrive. Yep. Um. Yeah, the first trial was Rattatus Rattat- No, it was, um, uh, Yangoose, Yangoose, and then the Gumshoe. Right? And then... For... The second trial, not the grand trial, but the second trial, I believe it was not the Marowak one. Oh, I can't even remember the second trial. It wasn't the fighting. It wasn't the water. It was was it the water? Oh yeah, it was the water. It was uh the freaking anything here? No. Um, so what you call it? Ah, wishy washies. Break all this stuff. Let's hop back on Stoutland. There we go. Miracle Seed. Put in my Forge bag. Um, but it was Wishy Washy, Wishy Washy, and then the School of Wishy Washy. And then from the Fire one, it was the Marowak. Then the other guy. And then Salasso. So, if this one follows the first two, I think it'll be the evolved form of Fomantis as the totem Pokemon. Or it just might be completely different. I don't know. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm deducting it. Okay. Hey, Jason. Great. Now that we got all the ingredients we just need. Sorry to keep you waiting. How are you, Mallow? Oh, look. The other two showed up. They want to see her lose. Just like they lost. I brought a thick club and a rare bone. Can I have that? Oh, no. Because you're a Marowak guy. That's right. <clears throat> Whoa! And I brought you some fresh water and the usual Rocky helmet. Thanks, Lana. Thanks, Kiwi. Now we got everything we need. You're up next, Jason. We're going to cook up a storm and lure out the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. Alright. Let me see what you got for me. One Mago Berry. Check. One Tiny Mushroom. Check. One Revival Herb. Check. One Miracle Seed. Check. Perfect. Just what the recipe calls for. Now we can make the Mallow special. The aroma of this tasty dish, what are you saying? Zoohoo, time for us to get cooking, partner. We'll have that totem Pokemon here in a flash. The aroma of this tasty dish will draw that totem Pokemon right to us. Ready to start cooking? Yeah. Alright, start the baseball music. Okay, Lana. Flip that Rocky helmet over there. And let's pour that fresh water into it. Here you are. Then in the Mega Berry, the Tiny Mushroom, the Rival Herb, and the Miracle Seed. Come on, let us use that thick club and that rare bone for a minute. Here you are. Okay, Jason, grab the thick club and the rare bone and pound it all to a poop. Okay. 
This is not. This is not awkward, really. Crush it. Oh, no. Okay, why am I looking at her? I don't want to be looking at her. Can I look at the food? And especially, why is it pointing it down at her? No, this isn't right. Okay, this 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 is bad. A unique aroma begins to wave around the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbush. Okay, there we go. <gasps> what? What? Mm. Oh, that was a cute little face. Oh. Oh, he looked a lot bigger <laughs> than Lurantz's. The totem Pokemon, Lush Jungle, has appeared. Than what it uh, initially turned out to be. But yeah, I was right. It is of all form of Fomances. You are challenged by Totem Lurantius. Oh, crap. Speed rolls sharply. That's not good. Um, but you know what we could do? We could actually do this. Flame charge. X scissor. It's not very effective. There we go. Flame charge. Oh, that does a good amount of damage. Don't call for your ally Pokemon. Come on. Oh, it's a Trumbeak. Sweet. That's actually not bad. Um, if Flame Charge did that much damage, how much? Oh, we. I'm going. I'm going all out. Going for Inferno Overdrive. We're going on Lorantis. We should outspeed too. No, it still outspeeds. Come on, not very effective. Let's do this. Come on, Pitter Patter. We got this in the bag. I knew there was a reason I chose you as my starter. Use full force Z move, Infernal Overdrive. All right, enough of that freaking animation. Let's just get into the move. Thank you. Freaking Kamehameha, that stupid Lorantis. Down it goes. Wow, that wasn't that tough at all. It pretty much felt like. Wait. Yeah, it pretty much. Peter Patterson 25. Yeah. Um, but felt like the second, um, child on this island. And now we could just go for Fire Fangs on this Trumbeak. Because I don't think he could call for help. Or she. Oh, no supersonic me. Ah, jeez, come on. Well, let's go for another Fire Fang. Hopefully we break through. There we go. Look at Pitter Patter. Taking out the trial all by himself. Skimpy through to level 21. Oh, Skippy. How cute. Alright, Tony Lorantis. That was easy. That was really easy. I really struggled in my other game, to be honest. I'm playing Pokemon Moon and I picked uh, uh, the water one. Wow, Jason, you're strong, huh? You were really able to draw the flavor of your Pokemon in that battle. The total Pokemon bowed right down to you. Yes, even back at Wello Volcano Park, my vaunted Salasol didn't stand a chance. Nor did the wishy washy that I had trained so carefully. Alright, you've cleared all three of the Kelly's trials. You even managed to get through my trial, and I say it's a real doozy. Here, a gift for such an inspiring young trainer. It's the grass. Grassium. Right? It's gonna be the Grassium Z crystal. Right? Am I right? Is that what it's called? Child complete? Well, I guess we gotta wait for the whole. Uh, this is how, what you're supposed to do to use it right. Alright, cool. Kill. Kill. You receive the Z crystal from Mallow. The grass type Z moves. You go like grass, okay? Oh, she didn't even give me the name for it. Cool. Since you cleared my trial, Jason, I want you to help me train some Pokemon from here in Lush Jungle. Here, have some nest balls. I have attained 10 nest balls. Hmm, looks like Loren. <laughs> Lorantis didn't finish all the food. Oh, uh, I really want you guys to try some. Have a bite. Kiawi. You too, Lana. Kiawi. There you go. Kiawi. If you insist. Lick. The flavor from the rare bone seems to fill my whole mouth. It tastes so good you might melt. No, wait. Is that my tongue that's melting? <gasps> uh, it's... It's so... Spicy! Oh. 
What? What's wrong with you guys? You don't have any taste? Are you headed off to Olivia's for the grand trial? Well, I am. And I'm pretty sure that I gotta do something before- Yep, yep, there's the professor. Whoa! What's that sweet smell I smell drifting my way? Could it be a tasty mallow special? I heard you clear mallow's trial, yeah? Alright then, I have a present for you. That little TM right there is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss. Smart Strike. Alright, cool. Thanks, guy. There'll be all kinds of discoveries and a new experience to make your adventure brighter. There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out in your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's go over with extreme speed. Alright, so... Oh, he's taking me right there, right now. Hey there, hey there, Jason. Guess I should congratulate you on clearing all three of Akala Island Trials. Congrats! Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's Grand Trial. Olivia is an expert user of rock-type Pokemon, so you're going to want to catch some grass-type Pokemon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the Grand Trial, come see me at Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah? But just ask Rotom if you need some help. Okay. Well, I, do I want to catch a grass Pokemon? Didn't the professor tell you to head off for that Dimensional Research Lab? Yeah. Um. So, you know what? I'm not... We'll come back to that. Let's head out to that Dimensional Research Lab. Which is gonna be not there, not there, not there. That's route S Royal Avenue. Oh, it's right there. It's supposed to go here. Okay, cool. There we go. Come on, try that. Let's go. Right. Oh, make it evolve for me, please. All right, whatever. Cool. Alright, so, let's go ahead and heal up our mons. Um, I really should check out and see what level uh, Wimpod evolves at. You know what, I'm actually going to do that right now. I do have my handy dandy phone right here. And... C'est la vie. C'est la vie. Okay, so let's see. C'est Thank you for wasting. Oh God! I'm saying thank you for wasting your time. All right, but in the meanwhile, let's head over to this ill place over here. Where is the research lab? Bam! And a whole bunch. Go, Nebby! You splash! Pew. I doesn't know splash. It's not a magic carp. <laughs> I was just acting like I was Jason. By telling your mom to use the, like, well, I mean, it's a one in a million chance that you could actually Oko a Pokemon. You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers, or thought I would want to be one myself. But when I see Jason How, it's like they've thrown open some door that I always thought was closed. They stride straight through it into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool story, girl. But look, he's over there. That's the trainer I want to see. Oh. Um. Oh, Jason, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. Uh, there's a laboratory here that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. H how are your trials? It must be quite trying to do three in a row. It was really tough. <laughs> I would think so, but still, you made it through all three. I think that explains it. The reason you look so content and understood by Torcat there, I mean. Alright, so let's check, I'm gonna check out this Wimpod. Wim, Wimpod evolves into, whoa, ho, ho. this dude's a beast, I'm looking at him right now, this dude's insane. Alright, let me check it. His name is, well, he evolves at level 30, we got nine more levels to go. Oh, so he has a thing called a uh, uh, emergency exit. So it's kind of like a red card, but once it hits 50 uh, HP, below 50%, then it'll switch out on its own. And it'll only work one time per battle, which isn't bad. All right, cool. Oh, uh, third floor, because it's the only floor we could go to. But he evolves at level 30, and the way you pronounce it is Golisopod? Golistopod? There's never no way to pronounce it. There's not even a breakdown of it. It's cool. Hey there, honey. Oh, hi. Well, our cousin's married. Yo. 
Um, here, this here's Professor Burnett. She runs the Dimensional Research Lab, yeah? And she's also my wife. Uh, you look like a cat, and did you know that your husband was actually messing with around with the rock rough earlier? Uh, you're chasing right? Lily told me about you. She said you were the reliable sort. Three months ago, I found Lily lying on a beach. Cosmog in her bag, also unconscious. Hmm, no how today? How he's out doing his own thing, but he'll be the real deal someday. He could even become a Kohana just like old Hala before him. You think so? You really think so? Whoa! <laughs> his eyes got huge! Well, yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, How It's been a while since I last saw you. Anyhow, I brought Jason here because I wanted you to tell him some of the mysterious phenomenon here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you got to mean the Ocha Wormhole. It's extremely rare, but sometimes a hole opens up in the sky over Alola. It appears that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. The reason that people think there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of fearsome Pokemon appearing from the Ultra Wormhole. That's right. It's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There is also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Fearsome Pokemon? What? Pokemon are fearsome? Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appeared from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They were called Ultra Beast, and they were feared. If the stories are to be believed, the guardian deities of the islands fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folktales. It's hard to know how much is true. But I would be very happy if I could somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions. In books, you can find them in the bookshelf in this lab. Cool. What does the prof think? We've got nothing better to do than read things and talk to folks. I know, right? Shoot. Alright, so we'll talk to her again. We recorded several known dimensions. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, whatever. What about you? Oh, we gotta talk to you. You want to know what happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So I decided to just come speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wandering about until I collapsed on the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it all. And then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me his loft to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate Nebby's origins too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me to try to find a way to get Nebby back to its own home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. Ah, oh, look at that. Cliche smile. Alright, so, nothing else here? You can tell. Well, you, yep, yep. You can tell about the dimensions. What about you? Check out Diggs' tunnel next. All right. Okay. How about that, Jason? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kind of moves they can use. You finished all three of a college trials. I did that because when I talked, a little bubble popped up and it landed on the mic. So I was like. Alright, cool. You finished all three of the college trials. Woo! And now comes the big match against Olivia, the island kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all. Here on a call of the Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is past Diglett's tunnel. It's in Kanoki, Kano Kony, Kony City. But watch out for Team Sko. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. I'm off to check out Diglett's tunnel next. It's a whole cave made by Pokemon, right? Alright, so you know what? Let's get up out of here. We're going to head down to the Pokemon Center, and we should call it an episode. Uh, I think in the next one, we do need to go to the cave. Because I think it's just Diglett's Cave that's next. Right? Oh, oh, what's going on? <gasps> it's a little ultra wormhole. It's a little baby one. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. I knew it. Alola is the butthole world of Pokemon. Hey, Jason, so you made it through all three captains, Charles, yeah? Then you should go meet Kahuna Olivia. She lives in the town past Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel is, let's see, from here it's kind of near the PMC. It's called the PC Pokemon Center, not PMC, come on. It's easy to walk right past it, though, so keep your eyes peeled. I know where it's at. Rotomari hasn't marked. Now it's Malasada time for me. Whatever. Alright, you go off and do your own thing. I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center, heal up my Mons, and... Wait, they're already heal up, aren't they? 
Yeah, we didn't even battle. <laughs> Alright. So, you know what? Uh, I'm actually going to end it off here. I'm not going to walk in. So, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe here if you're new. Also, share this uh, video if you have friends who like Pokemon. Because I'm pretty sure they'll like to see some Pokemon Sun playthrough or gameplay. All that good stuff. But remember. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to look both ways before crossing the street. And until next time, have yourself a good day. And I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> I hit my hand. <laughs>